Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Honcast.com. What is another great day ahead of us? We are continuing coverage here of the Sound Blasters Heroes League. Going to be coming at you. What uh, should be another great match today? We got a best out of the three, of course, going to be coming at you. And a great, great matchup. This is the semifinals Heroes. here of qualifier number one. We got Stay Green. Going to be taking on Lion Esports Club in a best out of three series. Very, very important. Before we get too much into it, though, awesome. first things first on Breaky CPK. Today, I'm going to be joined by a new co caster. Haven't had him on yet here on Holland Cast, but looking forward to having some fun today. Going to be joined by Pablo McDad. Pablo, how you doing, buddy? Hi, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing terrific. We got a great matchup here, and I'm always excited to great uh, to cast some great heroes and newer. So, looking looking forward to it. You looking forward to this matchup here, Pablo? Yeah, I really am. I haven't really seen uh, Pee play since they he replaced uh, Flansmeister, so it's going to be fun to see what he brings mm -hmm. to the table. Yeah, very important. That's actually a really a thing definitely wanted to stress here right off the bat. Obviously, I'm sure people tuning in uh, were noticing that right away even because it's pretty uh, pretty obvious there. We got Peewee in spot of Flensmeister. Uh, in, case, uh, in case you have not heard yet, it happened a couple days ago. I believe it was announced on Honcast.com. Uh, there's, there's a write-up about it, but Flensmeister no longer a part of Lion Esports Club. I'm still not exactly sure on the full situation there, but uh, basically it just seemed like things weren't getting along. Flensmeister no longer part of the clan. Peewee, I don't think it's official by any means, but he has been playing for them recently and, of course, playing with them here in the Sound Blasters Heroes League. So he is stepping in, at least for right now. Uh, we'll see if he ends up being that good fit, but obviously he is a great carry player. And, well, with Flensmeister being replaced, I mean, they need a new carry player. So it seems like it could definitely be a fit. So we'll see. We'll get an idea today, uh, even, of uh, his performance here against Stay Green. But with that said... It is Stay Green, Pablo. These guys, I'm sure you've been watching yourself. These yeah. guys have been looking really good lately. Yeah, it feels like every matchup it's David versus uh, Goliath. <laughs> so it's going to be fun to see if they do something new, if they just keep the same thing going. Hey. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's what we keep going back to with them. So probably not, but you can't blame them, right? So uh, there is a lot on the line. And with that said, too, actually, just real quick, before I promise, we'll get to the draft here, Pablo. I promise. Uh, but something else I want to stress real quickly is that this best of the three here, this is very important, mainly because the winner of this, they qualify for the group stages. That's the whole point of these qualifiers in the first place. The top two teams qualify for the group stages. If you don't qualify here, you have to fight in one of the no next three qualifiers to try to make that spot. So you win this best set of three, you're at least qualifying, and then you can play for some nice headsets here from Sound Blaster in that finals matchup. So that's the other thing and why this is an important matchup. But Pablo, we're moving along here on the bands and picks and whatnot. Uh, so first things first, the first bands that happen, you got the Scout War Beast Engineer Pebbles, the picks coming out, anything standing out to you so far? Uh, not really, no. Uh, I like the SG got both a uh, Keeper and Tempest, they like to do early team fights, and having both the, those heroes with the early push is gonna be devastating, I think, for Lions. But mm -hmm. we'll see if they can call something out. Well, you know, speaking of speaking of that Tempest Keeper, the Force, it does. It, it seems like there's been a lot of that where if one team gets a Tempest, the other team has to get the Keeper of the Forest almost. It seems like that, that happens to be a case. And, you know, people have said that, but obviously in this case here, State Green managed to get both uh, the Tempest and the Keeper of the Force of that final pick. So Lion Esports Club, uh, do, do you find that to be at their fault? I mean, should they have picked that Keeper of the Force, do you think? Um, I mean, it's if you trust your Ophelia player, I think it works like as fine, because I think Ophelia is better as a hero overall. With uh, like brings more to the table early game, mid game, mm -hmm. and if you get a skeleton king, you can still interrupt the tempest ultimate when he gets a shrunken, which is kind of the main thing with keeper. So I think if you trust your Ophelia player, it's, it should be fine. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's see how much uh, how how Handskin's able to come through. I'm sure he's going to be the one playing that Ophelia. Of course, the jungle player here for Lion Esports Club happens to be the captain as well. I will say, I mean, overall their lineup is strong with that set too. I mean, they do got Ophelia Master and Lodestone on top of that. That is a suicide hero that uh, you're pretty excited to have. I'm sure if you're Lion Esports Club, but Stay Green valuing the rally here in this case, um, going into the going into the next tier of bands, and then Torture even coming out Andromeda. as their next pick. Andromeda coming out here for Lions. Uh, what are your thoughts on Andromeda, Pablo? It seems like Andromeda has been stepping up a lot lately. Yeah, I, I, I like Andromeda as a hero. I think it's a really powerful roamer, and in this heavy uh, called pub train meta game, uh, it's a perfect hero. So, and it's another cancel 
for Tempest Ultimate, so I think it's a good pickup here. Yeah, yeah, so we'll see uh, how that comes into play. Of course, again, Seal Kim more than likely going to be the one playing that one for Lion Esports Club. A final pick over here that could still use a carry option, perhaps. Uh, do you have anything that's standing out to you here as far as State Green with their final pick? Mm, I would guess something like a Wretched Hag, maybe. Some mm -hmm. so a ranged hero that could solo, so they could do the rally and torture lane mid. Uh, that would be my guess, I think. Yeah. Definitely, uh, yeah, Hag could definitely fit. I mean, well, Hag is banned, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So, oh. Hag was taken <laughs> out by Lion, so maybe Lion's had that same idea, too. They also banned Corrupted Disciple, actually. Uh, so, oh. that could have been another option, but yeah, not to might. be happening here. Oh, sorry. Uh, they might be using Torture as a solo, and then they pick, a, like, a Luna or something right now. True. Well, so we'll see. There are a lot of options. That is true. I, you know, it's that it's funny because when when they did have Slicks and Keizu way back when, it seems like it's so long ago now. It really wasn't even that long ago, but um, they did run a lot of that torture carry with Slicks on that torture. Now, since Chessie has kind of fit in as more of that carry player for them, I, I it does. I don't. I don't think I recall them ever playing torture recently. But not to say that that wouldn't be possible by any means. I'm just saying, definitely an observation I'm making here as far as uh, as far as if that is to be the case, it would be a little bit different maybe. But um, Demented Shaming, I could actually even see as. Maybe a decent solo here. Doesn't have that getaway necessarily, but uh, he could fit. Well, with the, okay, they are going to go with the Luna in the end. So it's kind of what you said. It sounds like uh, they're going to most likely run that torturous short here, and Aluna is going to be that support choice. So stay green once again. That five-man lineup looking uh, looking pretty strong here, Pablo. So they got a yep. lot going for them. What? Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, what what do you think of that rally pickup? I mean, because they they picked up rally. Ooh, uh, Solar is a final pick, but they picked up rally. They had the chance to to take somebody like Fade. It seems like rally has been dropping off a little bit lately. Are you, are you fine with the rally pickup in the end? Yeah, I, I like the rally pickup because I think they're, they're going to go for like the early mid game pushing strat, which they like kind of like to do when they pick up their team items. Mm -hmm. And I think rally is a really strong hero when it comes to that because he can offer a lot of different tactics into, into the fights. <laughs> Most certainly can. It's one of Melons, obviously, uh, knows what he's doing on the Rally Hero as well uh, when it comes down to it. So Soul Reaper, by the way, the final pickup for Lion Esports Club. And uh, if there was a team that definitely runs Soul Reaper quite a bit, I mean, Lions does have some good history running Soul Reaper. Um, so I can, most certainly can't be too surprised picking it up here. Your thoughts on the Soul Reaper pickup, though? I mean, coming out here for Lions. I like the Soul Reaper pickup. Normally, they, they've given it to Flens because it's one of his comfort heroes, mm -hmm. but uh, I think they like to run it in their in their team, especially when it comes to early team fight. because if you give him a lot of um, early farm, he can tank up and sustain a lot of damage and heal for your team in the team fights. Yeah. So he's going to be played by Pee-wee here, uh, so maybe not as flavor of a kind of hero. So, but Pee-wee proved, especially at the DreamHack event, I mean, this guy, he, he not only plays some crazy carry heroes in general, from the Monkey King to the Gemini, he started to bring on the scene. Uh, we saw him play the Berserker one game, which was which was fantastic, and I would love to see that again. Uh, but, uh, yeah, going to be playing the Soul Reaper here, so I'm sure uh, he's going to be doing And actually, on top of that, you know, when Keeper the Forest, he still is a very dominating so hero in general, of course, and in that suicide role, but um, he... Soul Reaper is a great matchup against Keeper, is that fair to say? Yeah, it really is. As a Suicide player myself, playing versus a Soul Reaper isn't the most fun with the aura and the... Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good pick, I like it a lot. Yeah, so expect him, uh, I'm sure, to have a pretty good time. Now, obviously, Limp at the, at the same time, though, Limp has stepped up in that Suicide role uh, very, very well, and he's definitely made some big plays for Stake Green throughout Haunt Tour so far. Part of their success, of course, winning both cycles so far, so... They're trying to they're trying to qualify now for the group stages out of the first qualifiers here of Sound Blaster, but Lion Esports Club gonna try to be that team. And at Lions as a team, they they have been kinda they they seems like they're they're kinda going up and down somewhat. I mean clearly now with them removing Flensmeister, it, it maybe it's a little bit more apparent as to something was there and maybe there was that was part of the problem. So they got they you know, they got that figured out, whatever. It's gonna be interesting to see if Pee Wee's able to step in though, and to see if maybe now they're gonna get over that hump and be a team once again that we that we know could be done. I mean, have you been making that observation? Have you noticed that recently, Pablo? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think they like they had their peak and they didn't really reach the top. So I think they needed to change something, and they decided to replace the carry player. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. we'll see. Middle lane, holy crap! So what am I taking a lot of pressure here? It's gonna be fine in the end. 
but uh, Andromeda and Master of Arms, they are making a point that they are going to uh, ha rally, have a difficult time. With that, I mean, so we see here, Pablo. Aluna's at the bottom lane, boxing out Lodestone for Torturer. What do you think of that? Not sending the Aluna to, to support Rally here as, oh my god, Kama's somebody compels away with barely any mana. Jeez, they're almost getting kills here, but not sending Aluna middle. Yeah, I think they want to give the Torture an advantage because the Lodestone is a really strong solo hero. Uh, it like makes a lot of damage, so I think they want to give him the upper hand so they secure the farm. Mm -hmm. So it will bring something to the mid game because if you don't farm the Torture, it's going to be very awkward in team fights and fall pretty easily. Yeah. So I like the decision here. All right, speaking of Torture, Chessy again having a great, great time as you would expect. Already at 9 and 2. Aluna seems like she is coming more towards that middle lane. Now, you know, kind of wonder also, it maybe has something to do with that, that double range matchup here. Andromeda, excuse me, Andromeda Master of Arms in the middle. Um, it would already be a pretty difficult lane, maybe, for the Rally. Aluna, so figuring, you know what, Rally is great in that 2v1 in general as well. So why not just uh, why not just put him solo and then make sure Torture is able to box out and have a great time. But it seems like now that Torture has that start, Aluna is going to rotate here to the middle lane and uh, at least try to recover here. Um, in the middle. I mean, do you, do you like that? I mean, should they have just kept Luna at the bottom, or are you fine with them making her go middle now? No, I think this is really good. Since they have the Tempest in the jungle, and he has the upper hand bottom, they shouldn't really need to put more resources down there, and they can still win the mid lane, because Rally and Luna is a really strong combination. Even though I really like the uh, Hellborn uh, synergy with the both the, the double minus armor and range and burst damage, so yeah. we'll see. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Yeah, they, they are not afraid to use their abilities, man. <laughs> I mean, every single time Rally comes up here, Sword of Metal just seems like either it's the Comet or the Blast Shot that comes in and uh, and and puts the stuns, or the Charge Shot, excuse me, puts the stuns out and causing issues here for, for Sword of Metal. So they are not afraid to use those abilities. And uh, But it's, well, it looks like, though, he's not going to let that phase him too much. He's still going up. Andromeda is currently out of mana, so... Maybe uh, maybe that's the reason for that. But but you also brought up the jungle situation, and we do have that Ophelia going up against Tempest here, and keeping an eye on that real quickly. Ophelia around 240 gold per minute. Tempest though upwards of 300. So seems like uh, seems like my nuts here on Tempest. He's had a he's had a pretty good start to say the least on the Tempest here, the jungle. Yeah, he's already level five, and I think when he hits the level six mark, he's gonna go bottom put a gank on Lodestone and push the tower, which mm -hmm. is pretty the same time where Ophelia gets level 5 and starts pushing, so we'll see who gets there first. We will, we will. Tempest uh, gonna do a pull right here, got the stack going on. Ophelia gonna head over to the Vagamon camp, gonna do the same. So uh, again, both trying to maximize that farm, of course, so, but again, we'll see when they come into the lane. What does Torture's build look like? Yeah, he does have level 2 impalement, so they can most certainly aggressively push this bottom tower uh, here in the near future. And, Definitely wouldn't be out of the question. Also going the Botto build here on uh, on Tempest. Seems like uh, might might not see he actually does go that quite frequently. So I think he was even one of the he was the first jungler that was really known to go in that that uh, that bottle Tempest especially off the bat. So not changing that up here and uh, gonna continue that route. How about the top lane though? Let's take a look at the top lane. Let's break that down here. 24 and six Soul Reaper, 15 and three Keeper of the Forest though. Seems like the lane has been pushed up. Quite effectively. Is that is that how you might, might have expected that lane to go, Pablo? Yeah, I mean, uh, Keeper is a really strong last hitter. The only problem is he can't really go up to the creep way, but he's doing, been doing a good job. Now he's out of region, though, so uh, Soul Reaper should be able to box him out more. So we're gonna see him like take over the lane a little bit more until he gets more region. Anywhere. But uh, both playing very well. Yeah, and uh, Pee Wee. With that said, I mean, 295 gold per minute right now, so. Again, playing very well. Ring of the Teacher picked up on top of the boots. He has about 800 gold now saved up. Um, build on Soul Reaper. What would you like to see here? It seems like that life brand has been a very popular in general for just a lot of intellect heroes. I, well, what would you like to see as far as this build? Mm, I would like to see him tank up and maybe go something like the Shaman's Headrest or something because mm -hmm. they have a really he magic heavy team. On, on the Legion side, so he can prepare for the early pushing, which I hope they're knowing that uh, Stay Green will do like they normally do when they pick up their team <laughs> items. So, yeah. 
It seems oh. like no matter what the draft is, I mean, they, they always build a draft around the, in the end of Stay Green. But yeah, it's like if by now you don't realize that their strategy is going to be involved of we're in a group up, push you sooner than later, then something's wrong. Middle lane, Bloodlust Kill going to come out. Was watching that. And sure enough, Aluna just got collapsed on right there. So Z Freak trying to hold her ground now. Actually, Rally trying to go for the haste rune. Is he going to compel forward? Yes, he is. He will bottle it up. Very good job by Swinomons right there. At least able to pick that up and uh, go back to the middle lane with it. But well played by Jonathan Fan. He actually uh, comes over from the bottom lane, of course, and sets up a kill in the middle. So Bloodless kill finally happened around six minutes into here, Pablo. Yeah, it was a really good uh, good roaming from Jonathan Fan. Uh, that's what I mean about Lowstone. He's gotten up his levels now, and the uh, rank three on the uh, head smash is insane with damage. So it's a good rotation. Yeah. And definitely, uh, as you always say, especially uh, again, you being a suicide role player yourself, I mean, it, it can be difficult sometimes in that suicide lane. So you might as well be useful elsewhere if it comes down to it. And that's exactly what uh, what Jonas Fan did right there on the uh, on wow on the lodestone. <laughs> Out the hero name for a second. Uh, Sorry, Print Ophelia, though, in the meantime, at the top lane. So, speaking of tower pushing, and actually, you were, you were bringing that up to us, man. Between the junglers, who was going to get to the lane and push first? Well, there's our answer. Ophelia is yeah. able to accomplish it first. So, it, are you faulting Tempest maybe a little bit? Do you think he should be getting involved at the bottom lane more? Not really. Uh, when going to the mid, Jonas found he removed the aspect of getting ganked. So, Tempest kept farming, and yeah, so they, they didn't choose to push which I kind of like what they did with Lions, but I think mm -hmm. he should go now and try to trade some towers, maybe go mid even, see if they can make something happen. Oh, wow. I, I don't know if you caught that by chance, but I actually just went to it at the last second right there. Yeah, but, same. Yeah, geez. Lodestone finds Tempest in the jungle. We're just talking about him, and sure <laughs> enough, he gets found in. Jonas and fan, man. He is, he is doing a big job here, especially with that kill coming out, and it ain't over. He's gonna go back to the middle lane, Aluna's gonna fall back before, oh, will she? Now comes the rocket shell, Z-Freak stutter stepped a little bit, and that might cost her. Andromeda running in, gonna miss the fork lightning, and will be compelled backwards to be fine. So the stutter step doesn't cost her a life in the end, but this is going to be a mid-tower push. Lion Esports Club, not too often we see this against State Green especially, but they're the ones taking it to them early on. And it is, oh, and vulnerability coming out. It's going to be close. Will Ophelia hold her ground. Port's coming in. Hanska needs to be careful. Are we going to see a root? Nice tower kill coming out right there. But now Ophelia's in some trouble. They do have a root from Lamp. Will they use a compel for it? There's a root on top. Deep in the master's call going to come out. He has the Ophelia's touch as well. Lowstone coming in. The Tempest on him. We're going to lock it down. Nice stuff from Lowstone, though. But the kill on Ophelia is still successful. Master of Arms nearby, but he's invis. Not going to go for more. But uh, Ophelia dies. Her minion's still doing plenty of damage. A lot was used there by the Legion team, and it ain't over just yet. Rowley's going to be collapsed on. Tempest needed to fall back now. Taking the head smash right there. Sorry, we're going to join the party. Tempest getting creep blocked. Great job with a Catman, uh, Catman champion right there. In comes the Demonic Execution, and down goes Tempest. Lion Esports Club, big fight there in the middle lane for them. Yeah, they're bringing the SG, SG game to, to them, so I really like the way they're playing. They're playing really aggressive, they're using all their heroes, all their resources, and it looks like they're having good communication. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's huge. I mean, right, you do see torture in the middle of the bottom lane. There's a pause out right there. There's Master of Arms, maybe. Oh, the no. He went for the creep, actually. Tower. Kind of a misplay there from Super KG, but in the end, well played by Chessy as well, so... At least Chessy is able to get the tower kill out of it for Stay Green, but yeah, Lion Esports. And you know, I don't know. Dude, what 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 was your what would be your answer to that fight, Pablo? Was that Stay Green you think using a little too much and overextending, or was that just a better response by Lions? I think that was a better response by Lions. Um, they used everything, sure, but it's it's worth it if you get fast. But they were really fast on replying on Lion Esports poured it in and helped with everything they had, so it was really good play by them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good for them right there, and now they have a 3,300 gold lead, a 1,000 experience lead, so strong, strong start. Soul Reaper, you talked about maybe trying to bulk up, maybe going the Shaman's Headdress. I mean, they kind of figured that if he was going to be going that for at least would have probably had the Mystic Vestment, so I don't know if that's going to be happening here from Pee Wee. He does have 2,300 gold saved up now. There you go. It is going to be yeah. the light brand again. It seems like that's been a favorite by a lot lately. But are you are you against that? No, no, I, I like it a lot. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of damage and sustainable mana, so I like the pickup. Yeah. Going to be used here from Pee Wee, and in the end, it will be a good farming tool, obviously, for uh, 
for Soul Reaper. Look at Lion Esports Club right here, by the way. They're boxing out State Green at their own Ancients. They're actually trying to pick them off. Goo goes down. They're coming in as a team. And this is going to be Ancient stolen right here. Tempest running a big Cuffell, big size of Exile for Tonemels. But is it going to be enough in the end? Now comes the healing touch. We're going to be using as well. Master Mars will fall. Low stone in the background. They're trying to make kills happen. Not going to happen though. Ophelia is still somehow alive. Just kind of right here. Soul Reaper goes down. Ophelia is going to go down. A three for one exchange. Aluna still trying to run away from Andromeda. But I think Andromeda is now in a lot of trouble. Rock Joe going to be used right there. Andromeda cannot do much more. She puts a stun out. They kill Aluna. But now Jonas a fan. He is going to walk away and be fine. A four for two exchange. That started with Lions trying to take out the Ancients right there. Steal them from State Green, but it seems like they maybe, uh, they maybe stuck around a little too long. And State Green had a good response coming out. Yeah, I, I really like the way the Alliance is playing. They're playing really controlling and want to take control of the game. Normally what SG likes to do, so I like that. But the response from SG was great they took everything calmly and they set everything up with the rally coming from behind with a huge compel and seismic slam so it was beautiful yeah watch it was uh, definitely well played by state green and, and, and you know at the same time it <laughs> another reason that makes state green a great team is we have seen it behind it a couple times i mean every now and then they do get behind against some good teams like land esports club but it seems like if that is to happen, they are they're, they're going to be the best team at, at coming back at, in terms of just, you know what, we are down, it's not the biggest deal, we're not going to panic, we're still going to find those opportunities and eventually come back and, you know, kind of saw a little bit of that right there from State Green at, at the Ancient Fight and uh, Lion Esports Club definitely losing a lot of their ground that they had here early on as a result of that fight. Now, they are going to clear out some triple stack ancients on their side in the meantime, taking advantage of Master of Arms and Andromeda. I mean, that synergy alone, with all that minus armor coming out, is definitely very effective, so... Smart play smart play by them, as uh, Energizer's already finished on Master, and, well, he has another 1,000 gold even saved up, so... Uh, that is good to see. Tablet of Command, by the way, though, the first item choice for Torture over here. Gonna be coming out, and, uh... No boots still on Tempest also. <laughs> That's also a bit... Oh, he does have steam boots on the courier. Okay. He actually just needs to get them delivered, so... Stay yeah. green? I mean... Oh, go ahead. No, no. I was just agreeing with the Tempest. Minots is known for the unconventional item builds and not doing stuff like every other Tempest player. He's really good, but he can look a little bit odd sometimes, but he makes it work. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, uh, you know, it's easy to say he's definitely one of the best you could even argue the best jungler out there on the scene. Middle lane, low stun, double damage, and he's jumping in. Shadow Storm, it's not going to connect, though. He didn't hit the rocket drill in the first place. Even if that old combo, it probably would have been a kill. Let's be honest, it is low zone stun after all. <laughs> With the head smash and everything, but uh, he misses it, so. Swindon Melons, thinking his lucky star is maybe a little bit right there. That uh, he did not get hit by it initially. So going to be fine. Okay, so Lion Esports Club, especially now this decision here to go the, the Light Brand first here on Soul Reaper. He does have a Mystic Vestments now. What, what what would you like to see them be doing here? You know, is it more of a we want to just get more farm on Soul Reaper and Master, or do they need to be grouping up and pushing, you think? I think they need to secure some farm on Soul Reaper first, because he can easily get bursted out. Oh, top lane. Oh, never mind. Uh, he can easily be bursted down with the current health and armor that he has right now. So I think they need to like be calm for a bit more and maybe try to find some pickoffs with Moa, Lodestone, and uh, Andromeda, mm -hmm. maybe. But I think they need to be careful. They shouldn't really be pushing right now until they secure their farm on him. Yeah. Well, you do see uh, Ken falling back so much. Now I'm going to join the creep wave and get back in. It looks like Sora and Ophelia still trying to make a final decision on what exactly they want to do. Bottom lane, Master of Harm's going to try to TP. Not going to happen, though. He tried to TP right in front of Torture with those chain reactions. And actually gonna kite away, but you know you know the death is coming. It's just a matter of when. Not much longer they're gonna keep him occupied. There we go, they dive into the jungle and get him taken out. So overstay is welcome a little bit, but top tower, good distraction at least gonna try to push it. I believe they have invulnerability though. Keep the forces sitting nearby. Oh, he's gonna dust right there. He tries to night, not gonna happen. So no invulnerability, never mind on that. And it will end up being a tower kill. So, I mean, they lose a hero, but a big tower kill in the process for uh, for Lion Esports Club right there. That's all my yeah, God, what I'm doing. <laughs> definitely, definitely worth it. Worth that exchange, you think? So, yeah. Another uh, 1,800 gold on Sorry Briar. Middle lane. Uh oh, rally. And again, the rocket show's gonna miss, though. He will compel. Demoralizing roar comes out. 
and they're not going to be able to capitalize. Jonas Fan, he has had a hell of a start. I mean, he's doing a great job, but there's a couple of rocket drills that unfortunately he's just missed. It happens. It does. It does. <laughs> I never mess up personally, but... <laughs> Same. Never made a mistake in my career. Of course. Of course. Well, and now Keeper is going to free farm a bit top, so, I mean, it's, it's always, like, you get something good out of it, mm -hmm. even though it's bad. Keeper, you think uh, he needs that portal key ASAP or something else? Um, not really. I think he can go the uh, Astrolabe build up. Well, it looks uh, like Tempest might be doing that. Oh, he is? Oh, then. Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, he can get the PK. It's a really good item. I mean, it yeah. always is. But, yeah. If he's not going that, I think he'll go the PK. PK yeah. refresher, maybe. You're not going anywhere. Sounds about right. Nothing outside of the box. Not like a puzzle box you'd want to see or anything like that. I, I'd love to see it, but I don't think he's going to do it. Probably not. Probably stick to their guns, go the conventional, and they yeah. go what they know is going to work. I can never actually see something like a Soul's Bulwark on him, too. I I mean, Swinamel's made a, made a strong point that he thinks Demonic Breastplate is the best, one of the best items in the game overall, because of what it does for your team, so... Yeah, um, I, th I think it is, especially for Stay Green, who likes to yeah. keep the team fight going, so... He's right about that. You're not, you're a rally, either. perhaps, uh, could be the candidates for that. We'll see which one maybe eventually goes for it. More Ancients being cleared out. Master of Arms, holy crap, 2,700 gold saved up. <laughs> he is uh, he is pulling that up. So usually, at this early on, when a guy's pulling up that much gold, it seems like it is more a case of the shrunken head here. Um, would you be a fan of that? Yeah, I'd rather see the Geo Bane because he still has like a way to get out of the uh, the Keeper route. But yeah. I mean, it's really good with the Shrunken as well, um, versus the Torture and Magic damage as we talked about earlier. So either pickup would be great. But I think you're right with with the Shrunken. Yeah. Again, we're pulling up that much gold. Seems like that to be the case. And Rocket Drill again gonna miss right there. Tempest able to run away. Losto will just have to Rocket Drill backwards. And so Jonas and Fan not connecting even with the Portal Key pickup right there. Not able to get that jump, so another missed kill opportunity. And again, this is stay green, especially. You need to be able to get those kills. It still might not matter in the end, though. Low start jumping back in. Shadowstorm, it's gonna miss everyone completely. No, they do. Look at the dish on her, Luna. But here comes the response for the Hellboys out of Philly. Be locked down. Can she press R? No, she cannot. She's gonna fall a swap from it. Dramata just a little bit too late. And Dramata's gonna end up dropping now here as well. A three for one exchange. Aluna, the only one falling for stay green. And guess who wasn't there that whole fight? Soul Reaper was not there basically for most of that and that is uh, you know you do not want to be fighting without him and again you look back at the initiation stay green capitalized yeah they're up by 4.5k XP right now it was a bit awkward the initiation of the fight from Lions but stay green capitalized on their mistakes and are now ahead the Legion takes down a Hellborn Tower yeah, free tower yep free tower going on top of that <laughs> Again, they they know how to they know how to take advantage of your mistakes and and again, just so it's just a mix of you have to hit your marks with those initiations. I know it's easier said than done, you know, kind of j joking about the fact that you know never mess up, but obviously <laughs> even the best of them do. So yeah, but uh, if you want to beat a team like Stay Green, it seems like you have to be as precise as possible. And uh, unfortunately, Line Esports Club ha has had a couple of hiccups here, as great of a game as it's been so far for them. Overall, so that definitely hurts. Keeper of the Forest, he's actually going to uh, run into Lowstone right here. Of course, he is invis, so uh, if anything, he's just kind of scouting them out, seeing what's going on. But in the end, not the biggest uh, deal in the world. The Grimoire Power is finished on Soul Reaper, and it actually looks like Chessy also finishing one for Torturer. So some big items coming out for either side right there. 3,800 gold now on Super KG2, by the way. Jeez. So he's going to finish a Shrunken Head, I would think, here now. Yeah. See if they're doing gonna do Congo now with a few minions. Yeah. Looks like it. If they get this, it would be huge. Soul Reaper with a token. Yeah. Now there is a there is a ward aside here spotting this. So State Green is very very aware that this is going on, and yet, I mean they they do not have a Tempest Ultimate, so I don't think that's enough to say we can't defend it by any means. But that is something that. They will not be able to use here, and obviously, if you're Lion Esports, I'm sure they're aware of that. They always use last fight, so there. As long as they commit to this, this could definitely happen. But Stay Green's heading over. This is going to be so close right here. 
Well, I think they're going to retreat. Yeah, sorry, he says it's just not going to happen. Master Bob's kind of boxed in now. He's in a little bit of trouble. They don't really have a tablet on this team, so they can't really help him out there. And now he's going to be left alone. Stay Green's going to capitalize. Chain Reactions comes in. Master of Arms is going to get bursted down. Uh, you saw that come from a mile away. I mean... <laughs> He was by yeah. himself, got trapped in, and now State Green is going to continue here. Ophelia is going to get caught out. Keep the force running on top. He has a root ready to go. He's going to be bursting someone right here. Will he root in the end? It doesn't look like it. Nearly killing Ophelia, but the touch going to come out. Going to be fine oh, for now. Not shit. for long, though. Sorry for heal. Does not connect. Lowe's still going to try to come it's in with the counter. Really torture going to take a lot of damage. Head smash to finish him off. So they at least will get the torture kill right here. Torture not buying back, even though he has one. The root is going to be used right here from Keeper the Force. Down goes Sorry Burr. Andromeda is going to fall. And Lowe's still will just have to fall back. The, you get Alliance, it seems like it's falling falling apart a little the bit. Legion for takes down a Hellborn Tower. Yeah, I think they wanted the, the Congor kill more than they could. I the Ophelia only had like one creep left and Andromeda had no health or mana so it was kind of awkward since they found out they could capitalize and no buyback on Moa when they didn't get the shrunken off <gasps> yep. Stone. Nope, not gonna happen. Tempest Ultimate comes out. He's gonna be completely locked out. Where the hell is it? Oh, he did get it. He actually did pick it up during all that. Now he's a turnaround chance. This actually could be huge for Lions. Down goes Tempest. Keeper of the Force gonna fall. And Rally is just gonna have to run away. You see, Aluna's just gonna uh, Homecoming Stone out. Rally make a cut here. Low Stone still chasing. Rally does have a PK in one second. No, the demonic execution at the last second. Not often you see him use that early. But Sorypur just simply wanted to prevent the portal key as well as get a mini stun out. And holy crap, three kills all of a sudden. <laughs> so, Lions uh, uh, makes big plays there. That was a huge play by Jonas on fan. I always love players who like jumps in and gets the token because that's a, like proof of game sense and knowing everything about it. So yeah. it's a beautiful play and picking up the token made sure that they got three more kills. So. That was really, really, really good for Lion. Now they're back in the game. Takes down a yeah, tower. yeah. What was most certainly an exchange right there. So, oh, that's not good though. Ophelia is going to be picked out. That is good for Stay Green, obviously. So, Jesse is still taking advantage of his farm and finds Ophelia by herself. But yeah, what could have very likely been that snowballing factor for Stay Green, as we've seen so many times, didn't take a place right there. At least Lion Esports Club does uh, does hold strong and keep themselves in the game for now and. You got another 3,100 gold on Soriper here. Hey, would you still like to see something like that barrier idol leave it, or do you think it's going to be something else? I mean, mm, I I guess he's going for a shrunken right now. Uh, it's really good, like his way of going out of the keeper ultimate and surviving the uh, the nukes from torture. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's my guess. But I really like the barbed armor pickup as well by Lodestone because they have a lot of AOE damage coming out from Legion. So he's just gonna. Let him kill himself. Yeah. Yeah, the barbed armor is, uh, it tends to do that if you're not careful, so. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite items, by the way. Yeah, especially on Lodestone. I mean, it synergizes with him really better than almost anyone else when you think about it. Yeah. This ultimate, of course, so. He is gonna continue to farm at the top lane. It's not gonna be a shrunken head, it's gonna be an Acolyte Staff pickup, so yeah, that's another thing you would be thinking, too. Gonna be going to Sheepstick here. So, not going to be as tanky, but yeah. uh, he will have a powerful crowd control tool. Do you, do you think that, that not being tanky, though, is going to hurt him? It might, depending on his positioning, but he's a good player, so I think he he's going to take care of that well. But we'll see. Uh, I think he is relying. They have a really good, like, a strong uh, CC team on the Legion side, so it might pay off. High risk, high reward. Yeah, that is true. That is true. As far as uh, other items, 32 more hundred gold on torture. So I would, I would definitely assume a shrunken head on him is something that uh, that Chessy is more than likely thinking about. Um, restoration stone coming along on Keeper of the Forest, so didn't go the port of route or anything like that. Just going straight into the resto here is limp, so a double double root and Tempest has 1500 gold saved up himself. Kind of wonder if he's just going to be going for that PK route. He does have a tablet of command though. Maybe uh. You would think the... Uh, it's it's tough. I mean, what, what would you think in this case? Is that Shrunken out on Tempest? I mean, you you, do, you got an Andromeda, you have an Ophelia. Would it still be worth it here in the end for Tempest? Mm, I think so, yeah. Uh, might not right now, but like later in the game, it's always really good to have to survive the like getting picked off. 
aspect of the game. Yeah. But I think he's gonna go PK. It's really hard to guess with my nuts, as I said earlier. He's very unconventional when it comes to Tempest items, but I, I'm guessing the PK. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be surprised to see that here, so. We'll see. We'll see what he decides for 26,100 gold on Master of Arms in the meantime. Speaking of Periata, by the way, it looks like it is going to be coming up on Ophelia here. Yeah, so they will have yep. that for their team at least. And uh, as you stressed earlier, it's a, it is a big item against the Legion team. It was a lot of magic damage coming out from them, so smart decision there. Really, uh, really interested to see what Master of Arms goes for. I mean, you talked about the Geometer Spain, another way to even get out of the root. Also, some good damage increase for him. Uh, he did go the Shrunken Head first, though. Would you still, you think still Geometer Spain could be the best option here or something else? I think he could go that, because I think they have enough damage coming up from Soul Reaper and the Lodestone mm -hmm. uh, for them to. So he, he, like, can survive longer and do more damage in that aspect, but I'd like the to Legion see a damage item on Tower. him. Well, and it's not really that strong of a uh, damage item. Yeah. So either, either, um, uh, what's it called? Stig and Desolator, what's it called in Han? Uh, Shieldbreaker. Shieldbreaker, thank you. Uh, so either Shieldbreaker or, or Geo. Yeah. There's a Frostfield play. Okay, wow. I, I can't say I saw that coming. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you did as well, but. No. Yeah. I thought X. I thought X. Interesting. That, I mean, the Legion team, it, they're, they're not the biggest physical threat over here. Uh, sure, rallies, I mean, the impalement from Torture, but that's, I don't know. I don't know. How do you feel about that? I think it's a bit odd. I mean, it's a common item on Soul Reaper to get, yeah. uh, like, late game because of the slow. But I don't know if it's worth the amount of money just for the slow. Yeah, it, again, it's... It, I, I, yeah, I know, I, I definitely agree with what you're saying, where it's, on Soul Reaper, it is an item for him, sure, I mean, it's a definitely tanky presence, and it, it, it is an item that works with him because of the intellect build on it, but, again, this is not a physical, this is not a team over here on the Legion side, and it's not like it's going to scale into physical later on either, I mean, this is a team that's going to stay a lot of magic damage for the most part throughout the whole game, Lowe's still trying to find a free kill! But instead he gets turned on, and both the Ophelia's Touch and the Mattress Call were used right there. And still were not enough to keep him alive in the end. So that is actually a really big deal. And Jones a fan just simply, I, I assume he jumped right there to initiate. Yeah, he tried to get the Luna, because uh, he had the Eye, and tried to um, get the pick off. But yeah. they, were really, they were right next to him, so they turned it around. So I'd like to see stay green push now, because they have Tempest Hole, they just have sh got Shrunken on Torture, they, they just got a kill, so... We'll see if they capitalize on the yeah. mistake again. Yeah, I'm still thinking about that Frostfield plate though. It just, it just, it's so odd. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a bit odd. I mean, it might be like some players have the the normal item build from some heroes, which they always go. It doesn't matter who they play. It might be one of those uh, scenarios, but I think it's a bit odd. I was, I thought it would be a hex that. To 100 percent, yeah. When got the, uh, my mystical staff. Yeah, yeah. The the acolyte. I mean, I guess I guess you could say if if it is going to go the sheep stick, maybe the blessed orb is usually picked up first in that case. But yeah, no, I thought it was going to be sheep stick as well, and sure enough, changing it to the frostfield plate. So now again, gonna be interested to see where sword goes from here. But it's getting to a point where you know it's it, the game will only last so long. Obviously, it is still early on with us. That we're only 29 minutes in, so it, it even it feels like it's actually been longer, but. Only 29 minutes in, so still plenty of time to work with here, as far as this game is concerned. Soul's Bulwark just picked up by Rally. That's it's it's funny seeing that come so late because again, especially with Sunamon, especially Stay Green, stressing that Soul's Bulwark into Demonic is uh, such a powerful item as a team. Um, again, this isn't necessarily the biggest physical threat though on the Legion side. Granted, they are going up against a good amount of physical themselves with Andromeda and especially that Master of Arms, but in the end, he does have it now at least. So, uh, does have that to work with. Congor should be up shortly, I would think. Maybe in the next uh, couple of minutes here. As oh, Lowe's still gonna get caught once again. Riley, the seismic slam on top of everything else. Jonas Fang gets caught. That's big. Yeah, yeah, that's a free tower mid. Unless he buys back. He does have buyback. 
Oh, he there does buy back, actually. There's initiation, oh, initiation on our Andromeda. Gonna fall right there. Barrett coming out. Sorry for the Tempest ultimate. Gonna cancel out the rock control. Is gonna come out. Will eventually stop it, but a good duration still. Heels coming out and everything. They are gonna finish off Tempest right there. Keep it the points. The second move coming out. Hat trick, though, for Chessie to start things off. Master of Arms trying to survive. Running on the uphill. Gonna be fine for now. Lowstone getting away. Deep with their master's call. He's gonna go back in, actually. The buyback on Soul Reaper comes back in. Demonic execution to help finish off. Torture right there, and it looks like that's how the fight will end. Both Lodestone and Soul Reaper using buyback. Soul Reaper's final buyback coming out right there on top of it. So they hold at least, but a lot of resources used. Yeah, and seeing in that fight, the uh, Frostfield play didn't do really, really do anything. He was just standing there in the Keeper ult and waiting to die. Mm -hmm. So it was a bit odd. Um, I mean, they still hold. But if they don't come up with something soon, I think game's gonna be over. Yeah. I... I well, what, what, I mean, talk about... Because you do look at these lineups here, and... I don't know if you're different than me, but... It, honestly, it seems like Lions Esports got they arguably have the better late-game team. Yeah, they have a better late-game team, sure. But I think Stay Green, I think they're... Too much ahead right now, so if they go for a push... They're gonna win the fight and get either Rax or a Congor and then get more towers but that's what I meant with they have to come up with something like they have to um, find a way to get more farm on their heroes without getting picked off or getting the enemy team to push yeah which they could do by getting picks off pick off on their own yeah. or a Congor yeah that's I was gonna say Congor just resurrecting and guess where guess where line esports club is but at the same time stay green very aware as well you got rally already in those front lines and you see uh, Lion Esports Club, they're going to fall back once again very, very quickly. Lodestone, actually, he uh, wanted to make sure to get the refreshment room right there. He actually just finished his puzzle box, by the way. What is he doing? He's, oh, he's just dropping everything to get the bottle charges maximum. Okay, interesting. Um, what did I want to bring up? The, oh, by the way, okay, so I'd be curious. I want to I get your thought on this. Uh, Master of Arms, we'll hold that thought, though, because the fight could very likely be breaking out here soon, so I'll ask you after this, most likely. But Congor is dropping pretty low right here. Give it the four cents of the minion. They know something's up. Lodestone, he's, uh, okay, he's going to be tanking Congor right here. Tempest going in. No, this is going to be a free Congor kill, looks like. And Soul Reaper is going to get the token alive. Meanwhile, initiation. Tempest going to be stunned right there. The stun on a Soul Reaper, but he got the token already. Root's going to come out on a Master Fire. Splits up with the Darrow's Man. Shrek is up as well. But now here we go with Torture. That miss of all the AoE is coming out. Tempest. He does not have an ultimate for all this. So Stiggery knew they did not have a Tempest ultimate. That's why they did not really want to fight it right there. It makes sense. Nobody dying just yet for either side of this whole process. Keeper the Force still on the run. And it looks like he might survive in the end. He does have the Nature's Veil. Yeah, he is going to be fine. But wow. Conger goes down. Nobody dies. Okay, Torture died. Wow, I totally missed that actually. Apologize. Uh, that's big. Line Esports Club. Huge, huge Conger fight. Yeah, that was uh, exactly what they needed. Um, even if Soul Reaper dies now, he's gonna respawn and do a hell of a lot of damage, even though he has no escape. So that was huge, well played by them. Uh, it looked like Stay Green didn't really know if they wanted to go in or not. They were kind of staggering in between, going yeah. back and forth on some heroes. So I think that was a bit of a missed call, because they took the fight, even though Congor died. Which isn't really the best thing to do, but mm -hmm. yeah, well played by Lions. Well, yeah, I wonder if it had a lot to do too, because I know it's the Tempest Holtzman again. It still had a good 30 seconds left on it by the time they initiated. So it seemed like Stinger was kind of in that mix of we don't really want to go because we don't have that big ultimate, but do we really want to give up a Congor kill? And they were kind of lost in between almost. Yeah. Um, and it did result in torture dying. Now they obviously minimal losses in the end, but still big time one fight there by. By a lot of esports. Go. So actually, going back to going back to Master of Arms. He, he again, he finished the Geometer's Bane going to that, but he bought the Geometer's Bane straight up. What are your thoughts? I, is that is that something that annoys you? Because uh, again, he could have had a firebrand that whole time, <laughs> in terms of building up for the Geometer's Bane. Are you fine with him just right clicking a Geo's Bane? Uh, I mean, sure. Uh, he he went for a lot of build up items with the uh, mystical vestment and the energizer, so he doesn't have a lot of room in his backpack. Yeah. Um. So some players like to keep the items for as long as possible and other people like to have all the build up items for the, the big item. So you always have this uh, slot saved. So I, I don't, I'm not really against it, but I think it's a bit of a waste to have that amount of gold in your stash because yeah. you don't really put it on the field. Yeah. 
Well, he did get it, and again, it did come into use last fight, I'll say that much. I mean, obviously the rear came out, and he actually split up with it on top of the shrunken head, so... Uh, he was able to kite away pretty effectively against Keeper of the Forest right there, as... That's what the items are good for. Going back to Chessy here on Torture, dying the last fight, but again, he is built, man. Grimoire, tablets, sh uh, shrunken head, and a sheepstick. On top of it all, he continues to be the best farm of the game. 564 gold per minute, so... Doing impressive, but again, it does go back to this Hellborn side line esports club. You could easily argue that they are the stronger later game team. And, you know, with what you were saying earlier, that I feel like State Green may be just a little bit too much ahead, and that's where Lions needs to be careful. I mean, after that fight, it, does your opinion change? <laughs> no, I think I think it's, it's even again. I mean, the yeah. numbers are still in the advantage. Oh, bottom. Yeah, he's trying to catch them, actually. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Yeah, they'll get away, it looks like. Uh, oh, this rally, though. Can we catch him? No, he's going to be fine, no. so. No, but even though the numbers are ahead for State Green, I think uh, I think it's pretty even right now. Mm -hmm. As you can see, uh, Lions they feel more comfortable and going into the with the token of life, of course. So they're gonna put to do something. But yeah. good counter pushing by, or a split pushing by 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 State Green as usual. Yep, it's uh, another tactic that they're really great at doing. Sorry for gets ported back to base for that. He has 2,700 more gold saved up. He has a Blessed Orb on him. So, again, this is where, with that Blessed Orb first pay, it seems like, okay, maybe the Sheepstick now is going to be coming up next. So, yeah, it's kind of like, so he kind of bulked himself up with that Frostfield play, but there's still plenty of magic damage over here, but the Mystic Vestments, you know, helping. But in the end, he, he isn't necessarily the most tankiest, though, as we could, we could, we've seen some Soul Reapers. So it still is something that, that you have to keep in mind. But at the same time, I mean, Master of Arms, he's going to start getting more and more damage himself. Already another 2,500, so... Actually, there's the Acolyte staff for it. No, he's not going to purchase it yet. He sells it right away, but... Um, by the way, I, wa I want to apologize, guys. I know, again, it, there's a every now and then there are some, some lag hiccups here, so as I'm sure you guys are aware of. So we are doing uh, what we can to try to get that fixed behind the scenes, but... Um, hopefully it's not too big of a deal, so, but uh, you just want to let you guys know that we are definitely aware of it. Uh, Demonic Breastplate finished on Rally with that said. What level is that puzzle box, by the way? It is a level 2 puzzle box here. On Jonas and Fan, so, almost level 3. And yeah. then, uh, you still think it's Shield Breaker on Master of Arms at this point? No, I think it's, it's, it's beyond that point. I think you should get a Savage Mace. Now, to you have uh, some some more damage, yeah, and the true strike. All right, we'll see. Still needs a little more farm for that, that's for sure. I guess if anything, the 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 big thing that Stegrin still has going for them is well, one, they got the big ulties, they got the wombo combos coming out here, so that that still stands. And then two, they have all their buybacks compared to Soul Reaper, especially having zero buybacks again. That is a big deal. <laughs> Soul Reaper dies. He is not buying back. Granted, he has a token of life on him still for a minute and 20. This is a pretty good timing push right here from Lion Esports Club coming out. Yeah, this is going to be a, a big deciding fight, so it's going to be fun to see what happens here. Oof, the Sheepstick just finished too. Three Skeleton Kings, by the way, as well on, uh, on Ophelia. No Shrunken Head on Tempest, but still great at stopping him. As well as many other abilities, so still a good threat and also just a great minion to have in the later game stage to catch people that are trying to run. In the end, though, they're not going to push it all the way. They're, they say, you know what? We're going to wait for the third Congor, if anything. It, you, you agree with that decision? I mean, the token is about 45 seconds here. Yeah, I think if if it was like one more minute on the token, they could have kept going. But it's a bit risky because it's always a bit of a stalemate when you go go up to the enemy base, and it's gonna linger for like a minute or two. So the token would run out, and they yeah. could pick him off. So that's a good call. We'll see. Lion Esports Club. What happens from there? So yeah, the the token of life about 20 seconds left. So. If I do my math correctly, I think around 4240 is when Congor is going to be resurrecting. We'll see how accurate I end up being. But um, so I'm going to have that three-minute window, or of course when the token of life despawns. Ooh, Assassin Shroud picked up by Master of Arms here. So not going the Savage, going the Assassins here. Yeah, it's it's a good pickup. I mean, he like he has a lot of um, uh, defensive items, but he's going to deal a lot of damage anyway. So so it's good. Yeah, I like it. That, of course, uh, builds nicely into the Genjiro, and uh, I must say, I mean, the Genjiro especially seems like it really helped bring back the Assassin Trout. It's not not a very popular item still by any means, 
But uh, we didn't see it a whole lot ever. But nowadays, it, it's it's actually you know every every now and then item and the Genjiro build up definitely helps that fact. I think it's safe to say so. Yeah, it was mostly a, uh, a public game item mm. with the Assassin Shroud, but people in, in higher games, they, they tend to buy a lot of counter wards if you pick up an Assassin's Shroud. Yeah. But with the Ginyuro slow aspect of it, it changed it completely, so I really liked it. Yeah, exactly. It's not even as much of the stealth effect as it is the burst damage and the slow that comes out of it, so... Yeah. Um, I mean, damn, so Reaper... Okay, so he really, he has... And technically a couple more item slots left, especially if he wants to upgrade a post haste, but um <laughs> he's got a sheep stick, a frost field plate, a grimoire, Pee-wee's farm, five hundred and thirty-five gold per minute basically. Any uh, any obvious choices for, for him standing out here, you think? Mm, I'm guessing he's gonna get a behemoth's heart right now. Yeah. Which is like a common fourth item to get on the uh, on the Soul Reaper. So that that would be my guess, but I think a shrunken head would be easily as good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. The shrunken head still could be very possible to kind of replace that mystic vestment almost. It's like, yeah. okay, sure, I won't have the tankiness of the armor initially, but get the shrunken head up and I become immune to it all, anyways. So we'll see. Yeah. Oh, top lane. Well, Pee Wee decides. Oh yeah, they're trying to catch them right here. Aluna and Rally running away though, but they're gonna get cuffed. No, nice portal key from Rally. Gonna be fine. Aluna. We'll see if it's the same story. Can they find her in time? It doesn't look like it. The Aurora was on cooldown there from Andromeda, so they make their escape. Good getaway from Stay Green right there. And actually, speaking of that too, look at the warding situation right now. Currently, only the one ward aside up from Seal Kid. Falani's first go up. Nope. As I say that, they place another one here at the top lane. And actually, it's Lost to go for another one. Nope. Uh, but the uh, Z Freak, you know, placing his own aggressive wards against uh, against lines here. So it seems like both sides actually keeping up the aggressive wards somewhat. Trying yeah. To control that. Part I mean, uh, lions they have the bit of the upper hand right now. So they put aggressive wards, and Stay Green has to find the pickoff. So they use the aggressive wards to yeah. to do that. So I mean, it's good. By both teams. Oh, in this on rally now. So mm -hmm. let's see if they can. That is big. Land, but, yeah. The secondary tower is still up. Not often you see that again, especially against State Green. This late into the game, 42 and a half minutes. They still have that middle tower. Congor is up. He spawned right there. This is going to be right. the third Congor, Pablo. Always a biggie. Yeah, the cheese. Yep. Get the cheese on bananas, the Bananas, damn it! It's a oh bananas. Monkey. Sorry, I, I'm not playing Dota even. This is like from Dota One terms. Like How dare people. you? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know ain't I'm tired. No, ain't no Chuck E. Cheese in here. <laughs> bananas. Bananas. Oh, that's fine. Um, but uh, but yeah, third conquer again. Especially to get like this, that's it comes up and. Both teams in the area. Post is just picked up by Torture, by the way. Swap, they're on the rally in the meantime. Sheepsick gonna come out. This is gonna be a big pick up if they can complete it. Trying to chase him down to Microsoft. No, Sheepsick gonna Sorry Sorryper. Torture coming in with the damage. Sorry for dropping quickly. Sorry for is gonna fall. No, the saves come out by the Hellborn team. He will fall in the end though. Just a little bit too much damage. In the meantime, keep in the forest. Root going down right there. The oh. Tempest ultimate that catches all four. And that is gonna be big for the Legion team. Oh, Aluna trying to finish them off. Tap. Down goes Loso right there. The chase on Andromeda. Three players are already dead. It's going to be a fourth. He destroys the bow and die, but he goes down. Master of Arms will assassin shroud away, but that is the end of the story, and Congor is now going to be gone on right here. They do have buybacks. No, they do not on Soul Reaper, though, especially with no Soul Reaper buyback. This is going to be a free Congor here, Pablo. Yeah, that Tempest Hole was huge. I mean, if he did it like 0.1 second earlier, the torture wouldn't have died, and yeah. they could have... But he bought back now again. Uh, same with Swindle, so they're gonna get free Congor. I don't really see the point of having 3,000 gold on Pewee when he doesn't have buyback. Congor goes down. I mean, he could have bought a part of the next item he's of his choosing. Yeah. But yeah, that was a huge fire by Stay Green. Well, I mean, you think back to the initiation too. The fact that they tried to jump rally. They really forced that. They really forced the issue. And Drama oh, used the swap very the aggressively tower. right there. And again, it's definitely kind of a hindsight, sure. I'm sure they thought they had a free pick, but in the end, he got the team support. Even with the Sheepstick, he got top of the way. He's able to compel after that. And the then the turn the happened. So, you know, Lion Esports Club, I'm sure they're definitely smacking themselves in the forehead after that fight, no saying that we should not have jumped right there. If anything, they were the ones controlling the game at that point. Yeah, exactly. With the, with the Hellborn advantage on Congor, so. 
Yeah, and they have the better late game team, so I'm not really sure why they stress the fight. Yeah. And I don't really like the offensive swap on Andromeda for team fights. I mean, it's really good if you're gonna pick someone off, but having it like that, especially with no buybacks on their Soul Reaper, yeah, using it offensively kind of it feels a bit, bit odd. But mm -hmm. I mean, again, good capital. Oh, I can't even say the word. <laughs> uh, Capitalization. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. From stay green. You, you you speak English a lot better than I speak Swedish, so. Oh, thank it's you. Just fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was just basically so. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so you're doing just fine. Uh, no. Um. Yeah, it's again, but it's don't want to beat the dead horse by any means, but it, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Lion Esports Club definitely feels pretty bitter after that as well themselves. But okay, you lost a lot right there for your lions, no doubt. You definitely lost a lot. With that said, the game is still not over. I think it's very very safe to say. The game is by no means still not over. Um, they, they were able to push the middle racks in all the way, of course. That was big, and the uh, token of life is on torture. Yep, 6,000 gold on Chessy, by the way. Holy crap. Is he going to buy anything? He has a portal key now. I uh, I guess he really can't buy anything at this rate. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to hold it's it until full. token yeah. comes out. Yeah. He, oh. he did use this one buyback, so... What did yeah. Soul Reaper buy? Shrunken Head, okay. Oh yeah, he got the Shrunken Head. Well, that's good. Now he's yeah. gonna have more mobility in the team. Yeah. Let's see if that... Uh, they're gonna try to chase right here in the middle lane. You got Lodestone, double damage rune actually on him. Trying to yeah. see if they can find anybody, but again, State Grand did a good job of noticing what's up. Spider sense is tingling. If anything, got some decent vision and... Fall back before any jumps successfully happen here from Lion Esports Club. So, gonna keep them guessing. Master of Arms running with the Genjiro though. Rally might need to be careful once again. He's gonna port a key away though. Look at this. He's gonna port a key away. Yep. Oh. Why would you open on the Dragon Master right there? <laughs> I'm not really oh, sure. Oh no. Yeah, that could have been a free kill. It might still be something though. Rally BJ swap right there. The ships are coming. Putting in the haste rune. The fast ships to come out. Demonic execution already used. Health bars applied. And they're not going to be able to chase him down. He's going to run back in even. Torture is here. Lion Esports Clubs needs to be really careful about who they pick and choose their fights with. Keep it the force. Root coming out. Nice split up from Master Robinson. They kind of got some spread thing going on. Seal kick going to be picked up. The Tempest on the mat once again. Keeper Root also going to come out. And down goes the Hellborn team. on Philly and Master Robinson already dead. And Drama to falling. Soul Reaper shrunken it up. But he too is going to be picked up. GG well played. It's coming out. Stay a green will loss. take game number Wait, one here in this best out of three. Again, it's, at that point, sure, they are further behind, but still the decision-making from Lions, they got a little too cocky. I mean, they got a little bit too overzealous, I think is even a better way to put it, where they were the ones ahead. I mean, they're the ones with the better late-game team. They're the ones more in control of the map at that point. Uh, they made some poor decisions, though. And again, Stay Green is not a team that's going to let up on those, so... Any uh anything else to say about that game, Pablo? No, I think uh, I think after their failed uh, uh, fight in the middle, uh, they they got a bit scared about losing, so they tried to do something drastically, which cost them the game. Yeah, so, yeah, but it was a good game. It's fun to watch. A lot of action. Yeah, I like that. Most certainly was. Had three congress in the end. A lot of action and team fights and everything. And oh, Lion Esports Club. They they looked good <laughs> against Stay Green, but. You gotta do more than just look good against Stay Green. So Stay Green takes the first game. You're in this best set of three. So we'll see what happens going into game number two. And uh, definitely interested to, to see what that what happens there. As obviously, I'm sure we're gonna be jumping into that one ASAP. With that said, we're gonna take a short break as always, ladies and gentlemen. So sit tight. We'll be right back. We got game number two gonna be coming around the corner. Lion Esports Club taking on. Stay